I look forward to the Global Leadership Summit every year. I've probably been half a dozen times. If you have the ability to influence anybody, then you're a leader. And they're looking at your influence to, uh, to see how can I do something different. Some of the um, people that they're bringing in are just great. I look forward to hearing uh, Juliana Funt and her discussions on white space and how do you plan your time. I'm looking forward to uh, Malcolm Gladwell, who's written a couple of books, one of which on David and Goliath totally changed my perspective on, uh, on the whole Bible story. And uh, then, of course, you, Greg Cruschel is just fantastic. Uh, I've read his book, It. The staff has read it. The staff has read some of the other books, like Lencioni, who's going to be there. A couple of times I've brought people with me. The first one I went to, we went as an elder council, and there were like eight of us. Another time, I, I loved it so much that I brought my wife. And then a third time, I brought fo folks from Young Life so that uh, they could see how to become better leaders, better influencers for kids in high school. So one of the things you ought to think about this year is whether or not you can bring folks from work with you. Here's a chance in what's called a non-Christian environment to get Christian principles for leadership. And it's a great time for you to have this non-threatening environment with other people in your workplace, other people in your uh, social spheres, and whether it's uh, youth groups that you're working with or just friends from your kids in high school and you know there's a special rate for high school kids so it's a great chance for them to be leaders and influencers in a positive way uh, with their friends in high school so it's not just for adults it's really for everybody how are we going to pull out of covid how are you going to be different okay because for the last year and a half you've mostly been isolated in your, in your own little crowd well now we're breaking out you've got new people to interface with they're looking for people to lead and influence them to do things better than what they did before covid last year the global leadership was all virtual and i remember sitting in front of the tv and watching it and i love being with my wife and watching it you know just two on a screen but this year, you get to be in person. You learn so much more during the breaks where you have a chance to talk to somebody who just heard what you heard and see how did, how did they react to it, how do you react to it, and what are you going to do about it. I encourage you to be there. This is a challenge. This is an opportunity for you to be a better influencer, a better leader, somebody that can either lead people to Jesus or lead people to, to do life better, both at work and uh, here in the church. I hope to see you there.